Hi there, this is Renee from Floating Lights Photography. You're watching another episode of Focus Wednesdays, and today I'm gonna to show you how to customize your actions a little bit. So I've read in a few forums recently online and a few groups that I'm in that people have played actions and then they just weren't happy with the way that they turned out. And there are some things that you can do to actions to actually make them look better or suit your style or your photo. So I'm gonna go ahead and play an action from my Aspiring Light Collection. And if you'd like freebies from the Aspiring Light Collection, you can download free actions by clicking the link at the bottom of the video here. So I'm gonna play Lemonade on this photo. And um, it's played our action. So if we weren't happy with the way that this looked, there's a few different things that we could do. So we could use our layer mask and with a black brush, brush part of the action off of part of the photo. So if we didn't like the effect that it was making on her face or her dress, we could adjust that and brush it off that part of the photo. Um, we could also adjust the opacity of our action. So if we didn't like it this strong, we could turn it down. Or if we wanted it a little bit stronger, we could turn it up. We could even go one step further and drill down on our action. So doing this is gonna show you all the different layers that are included in this action. So all these different steps and layers were created or made to make this action what it is. So there are things that you can do to these layers individually. So individually you could do the same thing. You could use your layer mask with a black brush and brush part of this action off of part of your photo. Or you could adjust the opacity of just that layer in your action. You could also come over and turn different layers on and off, see what they do, and see the effects that they're making to your photo. And finally, you can add more to this as well. So you can duplicate actions also. So if I needed a little bit more contrast in this photo and this layer is actually already up to 100%, if I wanted to add more contrast, I could duplicate this layer itself by hitting Command J on my keyboard or Control J on a PC and it would add some more contrast to my photo. So now I have the regular contrast that came with the action and the duplicated contrast that I just created by hitting Command or Control J. So you can see the difference that that's making. Same thing goes for like brightening. If this wasn't bright enough for you and you need a little bit brighter, you could duplicate that layer as well by hitting Command J on your keyboard or Control J. It's gonna brighten that up also. So those are a couple quick ways to customize your actions. So I really suggest that you don't play an action and then decide right off the bat that you do or don't like that action. Make sure you drill down on it, play around with it, customize it to your style. With a little bit of customizing, I can always find some way to make this work. So I hope that gives you a little inspiration to customize your actions and start getting creative with your action sets in your photos. So again, you can download freebies for the Spiring Light Collection by clicking the link at the bottom of this video here. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, I'd love for you to email me at hello at floating lightsphoto.com or you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash floating lights photography. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.